Don't tell me. No, it'll depress me. No, no. What we do is we get another sample book and we do all the walls in them, like uh, a patchwork oh. effect, like. Where are you going? Upstairs. For the scream! Liz Dawn and Bill Tarmy need no introductions. They've played one of the street's longest-running double acts. Battle Axe Vera and Henpeck Jack have been at it since 1979. When they are playing together, they are better than when one of them is playing with anybody else. There's something more than just two people. It's, there's an extra dimension. You get uh, one plus one equals three. They're very believable. They have the fights and they were, they were more vicious. It was more public somehow uh, because Vera, unbelievably, is more gobby than Hilda. Well, I think Hilda uh, were long-suffering, you know, compared to Stan. But Jack and Vera, they're both long-suffering, you know. It's one of them killed each other at times. It's been unbelievable. Jack loves Vera. He just doesn't like the woman. Because every time he tries to do something a little bit on the naughty side, she thwarts him. She's three moves ahead of him. Jack and Vera met on the waltzers at a fairground. Can you imagine? I must have been on the waltzer and he was working there. I thought to myself, that is a class act, I thought. And I was right. Because there was not many women around like our Vera in them days. Still aren't, love. One in a million, my Vera. Hi. So we're going round and round, and we've been going round and round ever since. I think Jack has the upper hand, but then again, I'm thinking from Jack's side in their relationship. Uh, but if you look at it, Vera has, Vera has. He just wished he had. So. Yeah, Bill and I, we established a good relationship right from the start. You never know what she's going to do. She's one of the funniest women I've ever met, and the only one that doesn't know is her. The artists have a certain chemistry together, and that comes through in their relationship. They like each other. Um, I think they amuse each other. And it's that personal affection which I think um, shines through all their work as artists. I think it was because we came through on the um, cabaret side, you know, we weren't trained actors, so we had a lot in common. She doesn't do things for laughs, but we are in hysterics laughing at her, because she's a very funny girl. Absolute favourite Jack and Vera story has to be when Vera baked the pigeon pie and pretended they were Jack's pigeons. I loved the look on his face when he realised. Enjoying your pie, are you? Hi. What is it? Well, it's an ancient recipe. Something I thought you'd be partial to. Mm -hmm. Rabbit. Pheasant. Pigeon. I can remember when Nigel first came, you know, that place Terry. They came from a variety background. Nigel was uh, from Rada, you see. And they had a different way of working. They left notes all over the place and I couldn't handle this. He, I suppose, in all innocence, was expecting to uh, an actor and an actress. No, no, what he got was me and Liz. Um, and every now and again, there was that many words uh, and I wasn't that uh, experienced. But every now and again, I would put a note on, on something. I had a line in the sugar basin and Jack had a line on a cigarette packet. Also kept getting told off for moving any item of uh, furniture or props, you know, in case there was some notes, you know, secreted there. And of course, if Terry had to uh, come in, sit down, pour himself some cornflakes, I would say, hey, boy, just put that back there. Of course, he picked the sugar base and I went, oh! Not there, no, no, that way. Why, there's a note on it. And I picked his cigarette, <laughs> or I'll look at it. <laughs> And he couldn't believe it. He nearly fell off the chair. He went, what's this? And we all covered for each other at certain times. God bless him, how he put up with me, I don't know. <laughs> it's whatever gets you through, because sometimes you can have a lot of dialogue. And um, it might just be a word or a, a line. Two people I really enjoy working with. Now it's everything with me. I'd, I'd have it written on the walls if I could. <laughs>
Jack and Vera have had a tempestuous relationship, but fortunately Bill Tommy is made of strong stuff. Bill, don't mind being hit. I don't mind being hit. Is that, yeah. If he had to fall, he'd know how to fall. She's got to push Jack. And I said, don't worry about it, kid. You just push me. I'll be all right. What I didn't realise, there was metal studs in the back of this bloody thing. And as I went back, my head hit the metal stud. And his head vibrated. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I've killed him. <laughs> and actually, I actually thought I was going to go out. You know, there's slight like nauseous and... Mm. Now, love! Now! Yeah, stop saying now, love! You'd help me if you were a man instead of a rabbit in trousers! And he went, oh, that hurt. <laughs> and she's, I ain't kid, you all right? <laughs> I hope it's a long time before we have to look back on Jack and Vera. I hope they go on forever. But uh, it's a wonderful act, a wonderful act. And I think we want to go with them all the way, as long as they're game. I think if anything happened to um, Jack, Vera would... Well, I don't think she could cope, and I don't think he could. I know he's always pretended to be... Well, he has been a womaniser, but I think when it came to it, he would have never left Vera. You know. And there's a lot of men like that. I just think the lucky that they've got each other. Rita Sullivan said I'm a lucky woman. And I am. And I'm a lucky man, Vera. She's not a lucky woman. I've had trifles last longer than some of her marriages. And they haven't got a bad life. Because they're really happy, Sorry, as long as they can pay the rent or whatever, I and go for a drink in Rovers and have friends around them. Well, you know, I don't think they're very ambitious. I think what that's what's nice about them. They've not really changed. There ain't a lady living in this land as I'd swap for my dear old Dutch. Dutch.